So this is where the fun bit starts. That's the Murchison River behind me. You got Calbarry on my left. The boys are just in town at the moment, getting a bit of fuel and supplies. Then we're gonna head upstream a little bit and we're gonna cross over a causeway into Murchison Station, which is on my right. So that's a 350,000 acre station with a really interesting history that includes plane crashes, Indian princes, there's old antique military vehicles and stuff wrecking on the property. It's gonna be really interesting. It is a lad's trip, um, but I brought Percy along with me. He's sleeping in the swag with me, so we see how that goes. Um, but I better find out where the lads are and, and get cracking, so stay tuned, should be a good one. third time lucky. Um, twice last year we tried to book coming on the station and it was that causeway that was flooded um, that meant we weren't able to. So we're absolutely wrapped that the weather is perfect this time. We're looking at pretty much 29 degrees every day which is beautiful. So all the tracks are open and we've got full access to the whole property. Because it's not too windy, we can go on the beach. Yeah. So what's the plan, Today? boys? What are we doing? Oh. So we're here now. We're heading up this way. Yeah. And getting on the beach. So we're sounds going good. down the middle. And she said there was so. some interesting forward driving through here, right? Eh? Yeah. Sounds good. What do you reckon, Leon? Yeah. No, it sounds. It sounds good. Get a, hopefully, get a line in the water. Hit the shark as well. Yeah. Let's do it, eh? Just driven past this little goat with his head stuck in the in the fence. We might pull up and see if we can give him a hand. All right. Oh, it's barbed wire there too. Poor little bugger. All right. Which one? <coughs> Which one's he through? <coughs> it's the left. It's the right one. Get my hand, Leon. Pull it. That one's all right. That's <coughs> the right one. The right one. That one. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Bugger. Can we push it? No! Come on. That's it. No! There we go. That's it, that's it, that's it. You've done it. Right, you ready? That's it, that's it. That way. Woo! Well done, boys. No really? one got skewered. We'll release it tonight. Yeah. You see that little goat? Yeah, you did. You thought that was a tasty little snack. Not today, buddy. I'm rocking him to sleep, loves it. I have noticed though that where we stopped for lunch and to look at the map, there was um, prickles and thorns and stuff, and it, there is oh, 
hundreds of them caught in his fur at the moment. So I didn't bring a brush. When we get to camp, I'm gonna have to try pick them all out. It's gonna take me a while. It doesn't seem to bother him, but I can't imagine it's comfortable. Plus, I don't want him bringing them in my swag tonight. Tell you what, this truck is not well used. Surprised me this station, it's pretty bloody wild and rugged. Um, tell you what's happened. One of the lads uh, has cracked the shits, basically. <laughs> Gaz's, Gaz's car, whoa, the view, holy dooly. That's the first time I've seen the ocean for ages and it looks wicked. How's the cliffs on your left? Boys, wait till you see this view, it is wicked. Keep an eye on the left as you come up over the dune. Yeah, so Gaz has cracked the shits. He's, he's got a beautiful um, new 200 series and he's got bush barriers for protecting the paintwork and tight scratchy stuff. And we'd watched a few YouTubes on um, this station and he, he sort of thought it wasn't gonna be tight or scratchy enough to warrant bringing the things. And it turns out it's very tight and scratchy. Like, I mean, there's basically no track. This, this, I'm not just driving through the bush. This was a track on the map, but um, no one's driven it in a very long time. So anyway, we were gonna go right up the end of the station, but we've decided not to. Um, this is sort of one of the closer beach camps. Yeah, there's, there's, no, there's not been any tire tracks or ruts or anything along here for some time. I'm just hoping there's enough room down the bottom to turn around if there's nowhere to camp. Because I don't really want to do a three-pointer sideways on this hill. Oh, Gary's not going to be happy about that. Sorry, Gary. Ooh. Scratchy branches, all that kind of good stuff. So it's been slow going, but a good drive, fun. I reckon. Don't know if the boys would agree right now. Oh, this is pretty cool. If that's level, I'll be wrapped with that. going all right poor thing you're covered in bloody prickles aren't you let's have a look at your tail oh no it's all matted through there you got no double g's in your paws is there let me have a look look at that prickles all through that come on then an old bottle the property of the proprietary limited west oh here's the boys it's pretty exposed eh? yeah probably not probably not look <laughs> at he's not happy no nah. Change of plan. Just no way we're gonna fit four swags and get a fire and four chairs in and have any sort of protection. So the boys have made a call. Um, they're gonna try ahead inland and we'll see if we can find a clearing somewhere sheltered for tonight. And then we'll sort of reassess tomorrow. So just sort of making it up as we go now, but it's all part of the adventure. It's all good. 
ocean was beautiful. It was well worth coming in there to have a look. But um, it's no campsite, it's no good. Oh, the boys found a good campsite in the end, so we've come inland probably half an hour, 45 minutes or so. And we're sort of camped on the sides of this big valley. I'll show you the view in a sec. It's not super level, but um, yeah, nice spot. We got the fire cranking. We brought our own timber in. You're not supposed to collect timber here. Um, although there is a heap of dead timber oh, okay. lying around, but they just don't want it stripped, which is fair enough. Uh, you're not gonna see any drone footage in this one, because unfortunately we're not allowed to bring drones. Um, yeah, which is a bit of a bummer. We're on a property the size of Singapore, and uh, apparently there's only seven cars uh, on this on this side of the river at the moment, so very unlikely to see anyone else, um, but rules are rules, so we won't do it. Anyway, this is camp for the night. Not bad. See the view. So that's me in the King's Daddy Deluxe. That's the one I normally share with Chloe. That's me and Percy for the night. So we sort of have a bit of a little peaks of a view. Nice little valley. Cracking spot. I think Duffy's going to do a cook up for us tonight. He's doing some sort of stew or something. So I'll film a bit of that. And then I think Gary's Gary's going to do drinks. So we decided to do um, everyone bring a bottle and, and put a drink on, a different drink on every night. And um, everyone's going to have a go cooking for each other as well. So that was a lot of feedback from you guys saying, why don't we sort of share, um, share the cooking and, and stuff like that. It doesn't really make sense to everyone bring their own stuff and double up on all the equipment. So we thought we'd give that a go. But it's a bit risky when you got one bloke like Gaza who every single night has hamburgers and chicken noodles and a bloke like Duffy that brings cucumber vodka. But we'll see how we go. Good scouts tonight then, so. Yeah, Should be good. Oh, yeah. Ooh, did you get it? Yeah. Oh, nice. Um, I've got a, I've do you want it tonight or do you want it for your dish? Your dish. Nah, tonight I reckon. Oh, okay, alright. I've got, I've I've got, got half baked bread. Oh, did you bring bread? bread? Yeah. Alright, cool. Oh, oh yeah, tomorrow night. That bread, though. How much did you bring? Uh, uh, six, twelve. I've got a loaf of bread as well. I've got a loaf as well. Yeah. Alright then. Yeah. We'll save mine for tomorrow. Maybe have a lunch or something there. I don't know. Maybe. Will it go with your curry? Garlic bread, not really. Nah, won't we? Really. Not really. Maybe a pre, a pre starter. Ooh, pre starter. Yeah. I've got some cheese there too. Orders. Sounds good. Cheesy garlic bread. Sounds good. Not like bush camp, is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, the air fryer. we're roughing it. Yeah, so if you think the, the air fryer and the induction cooktop's a little bit um, over the top, a little bit extravagant, probably done something even stupider this trip, and uh, I brought an ice machine. Oop. So it's just turned on and there's no ice yet, but that'll be nice for drinks around the fire later. Did you say you did something stupid this trip? No, I was just saying that I, I cop a little bit of shit from people about having an air fryer and induction cooker and stuff. So I said I've got a different level of stupid with an ice machine. Oh, Leon said that you brought Duffy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> We've got a couple of choices there, mate. Yeah. yeah. So Duff's on dinner, he's doing a stew. This is all pre-cooked, is it? Yeah, all pre-cooked, vacuum sealed, so oh. ready to go. Looks disgusting. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> it should taste good. So what is it? What's in it? Uh, it used to be called Irish stew, we call it, for, it comes from, from Liverpool, Scouse. Basically, it was, it was a poor man's meal. It used to be done from leftovers, but yeah. it's advanced now, so what I've got in there is couple of onions, potatoes, carrots, a um, bit of corn, peas, and I've got a four oxos and I've mash, mashed some potatoes to thicken it up and stirred it in. You can't nice. use flour. So, so it's completely cooked already? You're just yeah. reheating it? Yeah, it's a good it's a good winter dish. So you put it in the slow cook and, and just leave it in. So you have to have it, have it in winter. That was quite nice. The kids love it. Like you say, it's, it's good in the slow cooker. It yeah, thickens nice. up. Just stick it on in the morning, it'll all cook. And obviously, uh, what I forgot to mention is, is the meat. So I've got 
uh, blocks of meat in there. I like to say, you don't have to use the good stuff because you keep it for about two, two hours on slow heat, haven't it? Just melts and softens up and that, yeah. Yeah, so there's no point in using <clears throat> best steak or whatever, so. Yeah. So is it like chuck steak or something? Yeah, I've got some cube steak, some other steak, and just cut it all up, threw it all in. And I like I say, it all softens up anyway, so yeah. no point in getting the best, the best steak because you wouldn't taste it anyway. So yeah. And are these your um, regular camping scissors? Yeah, they're the best ever. <laughs> no, me, me daughter's going to go looking for them later. <laughs> She's not going to find them. And I think so, Duff's got a bit of bread in the um, travel buddy as well, don't you? I've got some um, part baked bread, so all I'm going to do is, is, is whack it in me in the oven and probably whack it in Cam's air fryer as well, so. That'll be nice. Shit, man, yeah. you cooked a bit, didn't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like you say, you'll be eating this for weeks. Cool. So, yeah, that's how it all pans out. Yeah, that's good. So I'm gonna do a dinner as well. Uh, probably not tomorrow night, but the next night. Um, and then we'll eat we'll eat Duff's leftovers for lunch tomorrow, probably. Yeah, sounds good. And I'll, I'll cook up a big feed too. I'm gonna do a, um, a Thai red curry, so there'll be leftovers for lunch and that as well. Should be good. And I think yeah. Gary's on the drinks. Gary's going to sort out drinks tonight, eh? Yeah, he's um, dark and stormy, I think he's doing. I think so. Yeah, so, see how that goes. So I've just done some bread rolls for Duffy in the air fryer. They're nice and toasty. And he reckons his stew's ready to go. Here we go, my man. Actually, I'm up with that there. Well, it smells good, bro. Get a bowl. Doggo's sussed it out already. Everyone's getting bowls, let's do it. Someone got butter? Yeah, Kaz is just going to bring some over. Nice. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh. Oh. Right, you doing me? Yeah. Thanks, bro. Oh, good. What's oh, burning my hand? Oh, banging on the set. How is it, Leon? Yeah, it's beautiful. It's good. Well done, Duffy. Well Cheers, done. man. Good Got job, it right. Duff. Beautiful. Thanks, brother. <laughs> Leon. Yeah. Show us the best mod on the GQ. <laughs> oh, I mean, there's I a lot. What talking about. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, hang on. Let me. Hang on. Oh my lord. Look at that. Way cool. I'll have to show you Leon's bed tomorrow. He's in a, he's got a dome tent with no fly on it because he likes to look at the stars, which are really impressive here. The GoPro's not going to do any justice. But how'd, how'd you go this morning? Because there was a heap of dew last night, yeah, eh? Yeah, I was a little bit wet, mate. Yeah. Let's be honest. Yeah. So. Are you, you going to rock it again? Yeah. You are brave. It's all good. Anyway, I think um, Gaz has got some drinks ready for us. My God, that's bright. It's hideous. Oh, no, nope. that was the dullest one I've got. So Gaz is on the dark and stormies. Ice machines doing its thing. It looks like it's on the pierce, but that's actually level because the car's not. So I've got a rock underneath there because it wants to be level. It is, it's drawing about 10 amp and it's been on for a while, so I've got to remember to turn it off tonight, otherwise it'll drain the batteries by the morning. Yeah, baby. No, some of the rum's already gone. Why? Um, well, I couldn't wait, so. Fair enough. Right, well, we need some cups, though. There's so mine there. I'll probably turn this off. And we can flick that. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Oh, you just brought your, your small yeah. cup? Yeah. <laughs> Don't you feel that you have to fill it? No, you won't be getting filled. <laughs> it was half the bottle last night. 
That's a special bottle. Yeah. Reliant. Reliant. What's that, guys? Ginger beer. Ooh, Actually, right. you can put me onto this. Good, eh? Yeah. Quality stuff, this one. Yeah, diet, right. diet as well. <laughs> they do a good cordial too, the diet right. Yeah, no, the, yeah, they have about yeah, three flavours, eh? Mm. Um, well, these, yeah. That's what I was talking about with the red light. Wow. Yeah, I'll try that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What was that? Massive moth going into dive behind my electrical panel. Try that then. There you go, boys. Oh, let's give it a go. Cheers. 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 Lads. Cheers, y'all. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Leo. Oh, it's nice, man. Oh, that's good, that, Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, Leon? Cam. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's mm. good. That's nice, though. Mm. Yeah, one of, one of my big camera's favourites. Yep. Yeah, I'm really No, I can't see really. Good night, buddy. <laughs>